Hello friends. In today's episode, we'll look at how a good cauliflower looks like versus a bad cauliflower and we give you tips on how to improve the quality of the cauliflower that you get from your garden. So as you can see here, we transplanted the seedlings in January and cauliflower is a cool season crop. So you can grow it either in winter here in Southern California or you can even grow it in early spring or fall when the temperatures are cool. And for spacing, you can see that if you space your plants too closely, it does affect the size of the cauliflower that you get. So what you see here is pretty much the ideal spacing that you can get for your cauliflower. If you want to plant them farther apart, that's a good idea too. However, in one raised bed, I plant about 9 to 16 cauliflower plants and that seems to work well. So let's go ahead and harvest a cauliflower that looks good. Uh, this will give you an idea of how your good cauliflower should look like. Now if you want more tips on growing cauliflower, check out the video on your screen. And that has more tips on growing cauliflower. And as you can see here, uh, this cauliflower head looks pretty good. And this is a really uh, good sized cauliflower head. And it's important to remember that if you get a lot of leaves and not your cauliflower head, chances are that your cauliflower is buttoning or not growing properly. That's why I wanted to show you how a really good cauliflower head looks like after harvest. And let's weigh this cauliflower head and see how much it weighs. And as you can see, it's 4.2 pounds. Now at $3 a pound for organic cauliflower, you're looking at a $12 cauliflower head. So you can see how much value you get by growing your own produce. And now let's look at how a bad cauliflower head looks like. Now before I continue, let me tell you one thing. These cauliflower heads are perfectly edible. They taste almost similar to the regular cauliflower head, but they don't look the same. And this is what I'll be showing you. This is a head of a cauliflower plant that has shot to seed. Now, this is one of the common problems associated with cauliflower. So as you can see here, uh, this cauliflower plant had the problem where it shot to seed. And I'd like to know from you whether you have experienced problems like shooting to seed or where the cauliflower plant buttons into a small cauliflower. So why do you end up with the cauliflower like this? So there are two main reasons. First is the temperatures. If the temperatures in your area are warm, the cauliflower plant goes to bolt or goes to seed and this is what happens. The second reason why you would get a cauliflower head like this is if there is a very high nitrogen content in your soil. So if you add a lot of manure or a lot of nitrogen fertilizer sources, you can expect to get this kind of a cauliflower head. So after we saw the example of the perfect cauliflower and a bad cauliflower, let's look at a normal cauliflower. Now the reason I thought I'd share this information is because most of the gardeners should expect at least this kind of head when they are growing uh, their cauliflower. So as long as you follow a good planting regime, make sure your soil has adequate nutrients, your cauliflower should end up looking like this. So as you can see here, we are harvesting this cauliflower plant. And the best season to grow cauliflower are in the cooler months. Once again, spring, fall, ideal to grow cauliflower. And as you can see here, this is a normal looking head, a very decently sized cauliflower head. And this is what you would even see at your grocery store. So you should try to aim for this kind of a cauliflower. So that was our episode on the cauliflower harvest where we saw how a good cauliflower looks like, how a bad cauliflower looks like, and how a normal cauliflower looks like. And I'd love to know from you your experiences in growing cauliflower. So do drop in a comment, or do give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.